this is an Arctic Cat 454. And the issue is the shifter won't go all the way into high in the high low shifter. It goes into low, very stiff to move, but won't go all the way into high. So I've already started taking it apart. I'm gonna take this off. This has to come off. There's a bolt here, I already pulled it. So this will just pull off. Yeah, it'll pull off with two hands. I disconnected this, the foot guard. I'm gonna take it off all the way. And I'm gonna have to take off the speedometer cable there. And I'll probably take off this belly guard just so I have some room to reach up from underneath. We'll see if I have to do that, but anyway, this is gonna be fun. I've never done this before. Disconnected, loosen that off. I took the bolts out all the way around. I took the pull start off. Now I have to get this cup off here. <sighs> Making progress. I took this apart and I pulled all these gears off of here because this is actually the uh, high-low so you can see that move up and down now the easiest way to do it is you pull this out this pulls out and then this is a fork that goes in and it goes on to a gear carefully without dropping everything there you go. <clears throat> so you can see it's got these teeth on it and it has teeth that are a different size on the other side so you got to get it this is the actual gear this is the actual gear that drives everything. You can see it's got splines on that shaft. Well, the only gear that has splines in this, in this is the center gear. The bottom one free spins and the top one free spins. And the only time it's engaged is when this moves up or down and locks it into place. So essentially this spins, driving this, and then this drives either the bottom gear or the top gear, depending on what position you're in. And what I think happened is I think someone was in here and they may have changed the stator. And in doing so, things fell out. And then when they put them back in, they didn't get them right. So, but anyway, that's how it works. So you can see there's a bit of a slot there and that slot runs and moves this up and down when you turn this. So I hope that helps you if you are trying to put this back together. Uh, this was a novelty for me.